This video will cover the formation and shaping of basic landforms by weathering and erosion. The first set of landforms are created by wind weathering and erosion. The first three are buttes, mesas, and plateaus. Buttes are formed uh, when a hill is shaped by wind, weathering, and erosion. Wind crashes into the rock, knocks the rock to the ground, forms a pile around the butte. Mesas are the same way, only in a larger scale. And then finally, plateaus are formed in the exact same way, wind, weathering, and erosion, but on a very large scale. Beaches are formed when water weathers down rock, forming sand, and erodes it by dropping it off on the coastline. Dunes are hills of sediment blown by wind erosion and deposited on beach grass. U-shaped valleys are created by glacial movement uh, during an ice age. Originally, a mountain range was covering this entire area, but a glacier plowed through the area, weathering it down through glacial erosion and eroding the rocks away from the area. You see these little rocks here are pushed away to new locations. Sometimes you'll see them on the hillsides. And uh, if you see piles of rock, you know is a location where glacial erosion took place. A drumlin is a pile of rock created after a glacier moved through the area. You see here a glacier moving through towards the left. Eventually that glacier will pass, leaving behind it a pile of eroded rock that's been broken down by glacial weathering and eroded by gl glaciers. The higher end of the drumlin points in the direction the glacier was moving. When a glacier grows within a mountain, it weathers the rock, breaking it down, and erodes it to the side of the bowl. You see here, it creates this big bowl in the mountain due to glacial weathering and erosion. A tarn forms simply when a cirque fills in with water. A sandbar forms when there is a back current from the shore, and it erodes the sediment and drops it off in a bar parallel to the coast. And this is again water erosion dropping off sand in a single spot. A spit forms during water erosion when a water current moves along the coastline and it drops off or deposits the eroded and weathered rock in a single area perpendicular to the coast. A V-shaped valley forms when a U-shaped valley formed by glacial weathering has a river running through it. The river weathers and erodes the rock even further, sharpening the U to a V. A cliff is an area of rock that has been weathered by waves and the rocks are eroded by waves out to sea where they form sediment. So this is water, weathering, and erosion. Canyons form when a river runs through an area for millions of years and it weathers and erodes the rock and grows deeper. Ravines are formed the same way, only smaller. This ravine appears to have dried up. A lake may grow if it continues to weather nearby land with its water or shrink if sediment is eroded into the lake and filled in. A bay is formed by wave action carving out an area of land during water weathering and erosion. One way a gulf forms is if water weathering and erosion take place over an even longer period of time and a bay can grow very large and form a gulf. A sea can form if tectonic plate movement closes in a large bay. A peninsula and isthmus are formed in the same way, usually by volcanic eruption or plate movement. These are both constructive forces. However, they are shaped by water weathering and erosion as waves crash into their shores. Streams are formed in, what, by weathering and erosion by flowing water. They can possibly form a canyon if the rock is broken down easily enough. Rivers are formed as the same as streams, only larger. Sediment that has been weathered and eroded by rivers is dropped off at the mouth of a river in a large pile. This pile is called a delta. Islands and archipelagos are formed by volcanic action, which is a constructive force, and it's shaped by water weathering and erosion as waves crash into their shores.